So, um, in in this soul journey, um, we're going to open back up, and we're going to connect with our um, guardian angel and invite our guardian angel to connect us with whomever in the angelic realm um, they're saying or of light beings just be open for whoever comes in to help okay it will be someone on the angelic resonance on up um, as I said some of you have a little you know like um, when you're talking about soul shards, not everyone here is completely 100% your soul. You've got like little soul contract shards and not all of that is human souls. Some of you have soul shards from friends who are like Palladians or, you know, whoever, uh, different collectives. So be ready for whatever will, will come in. And we're going to invite them to fill you with light. Um... And again, however your senses receive, just be open and the more you accept without question and receive whatever comes in with gratitude, the more, the easier it will flow for you. So we're going to fill you with the light of your angelic and higher up friends and then send that light flowing outward. You'll notice wherever you're missing soul shards, there will be lines of light or energy going from you to wherever it is. And then with their help, the help of your guardian angel, you will go and, and receive them. One thing you'll learn in this one is um, because it's a higher frequency, some of the soul shards that come through may be lifetime adventures or it may be things that are like missing on a higher realm or uh, or maybe maybe an angel found one of your soul shards floating around and is holding it in safekeeping for you so <laughs> they're very honest they're easy to negotiate um, so you can offer to exchange you've got your little box with you that that's with you your little magical box is not something that will go away that's with you and so if you want to give them anything in exchange um, you know you never know what they want they may want to like the angels love tapping into our memories of experiences because you know they delight in our 3d life they think it's amazing uh, you never know what what they'll want but this will be um, something a slightly different frequency and um, I am going to say again for today don't go for your darkest trauma go for the low-hanging fruit soul shards but um, another time if you're going after anything traumatic this is definitely a very loving way to face it so as you know we receive our energy often we're getting divine energy from the earth realm flowing up through us and divine energy from the cosmic and angelic realm flowing down through us. So this one, you're going to feel a lot more energy flowing this way. Okay. All right. So become comfortable. Relax. And as before, allow your feet to relax. Give them permission to relax and flow all the energy that is in your body very comfortably flows through your feet and out pooling deep into the world and as your feet relax and flow you'll notice the top of your head automatically immediately opens up relaxes beautiful divine energy just naturally flows in through the top of your head through your body and being down through your feet deep into earth 
And the more the top of your head relaxes and flows, the wider the energy around your feet flows and the deeper. Your root chakra spreads out wide, giving you a beautiful solid base to absorb all the beautiful light and love and divine frequencies that flow in through the top of your head. Letting it feel light and airy and tingly. And as the beautiful divine energy flows in through the top of your head and filters down through your mind and your body and your legs down through your feet into earth. The wider your root chakra is, the wider your crown chakra can be. And the wider your crown chakra becomes, the wider your root chakra spreads out, giving you a beautiful base for all of this wonderful divine energy that flows in through the top of your head to filter down through the hollow tube of your body deep into earth. And as you relax and the energy flows and the top of your head feels light and airy and tingly, You can feel the energy in your body, feeling light and flowing, airy. This beautiful loving energy filters in through the top of your head and flows through every aspect of your being. And you can feel this energy filling your body, emanating from your body. As this energy flows in through the top of your head, feels light and airy, tingly, very relaxed, flows in through your mind, making your mind feel light and floating. This energy flows down through your throat allowing your throat to feel relaxed and expanded, radiant through the front of your throat, and the sides and the back. And the energy flows down to your heart chakra and the core of your chest and radiates in all directions, left to your physical heart and right to your cosmic heart. And you can feel the energy flowing through your entire chest cavity, filling with love, filling all beings of all elements of your bosom with light, loving energy radiating outward in front of you and your sides radiating behind you, making your shoulder blades even feel light and tingly as your heart chakras open behind you. It may even feel as though you have wings of love 
sprouting from your back as your chakras open wide and the love flows all around your heart. And so your heart chakra is become so big, it cannot and will not be contained. It must spread and glow outward in all directions. All of this beautiful love energy that is within you flows into your physical heart where it mixes with all the blood and oxygen and flows into your body through your veins and arteries, flows to all of your flesh and your organs, your entire being, your bones are just flowing with love. And from the right side of your bosom, your cosmic heart, all of the love connections to your guides, your guardians, the people you love, everything that you love outward just erupts out as divine love flows into your body and fills you and then flows outward in all directions. With each breath, more love, and with each love, even more love. And now I would like you to call out an invitation. Call to your guardian angel or any angel who guardians and cares with you to come in and flow in with all of this energy into your body to share space with you. Invite your angel to flow into your being through the light, airy, tingly top of your head and through your love-soaked brain and your light, airy mind down through your warm, open throat into your heart chakra and your full heart being. Invite your angelic presence to flow in, to be one with you and share this beautiful sacred space of your body. Let this energy flow in. Feel the embrace of the angel around you and within you. Ask your angel to light up and shine the light of love upon your soul. To light up your being with angel fire and let your soul shine. What resonance does this feel like? What frequency? What color is your soul light? How does it feel?
look upon your soul light within you and notice are there any cracks are there any missing areas how does that look where your soul shards are missing wherever they're missing fill that area with love a welcome loving home for the shards waiting for them for when they return and notice the connection between your soul within your body and the fragments that are missing. What do you see? Are they lines of light or energy? But you and your angel know that while they are not within you, they're still connected. With the help of your angel, choose one small shard to follow and retrieve. When you have selected your shard, feel the resonance of the connection to your shard. And you and your angel will follow that to immediately appear to the location of your shard. Go there now to your shard. Give yourself a moment to acclimate to your new environment. to allow your senses to absorb and connect with. Where are you? How does it feel in this place? Is there a when, a timeline? or a state of being. Let the environment reveal itself to you. Why is your soul shard here? What is keeping it? Can you call it or is it held in place? If it's held by what or whom, how will you retrieve your soul? Do you need to barter? Offer a gift or have a conversation? Claim your soul shard for yourself. Claim your soul shard and allow it to nestle back into your being. 
Is there anything else that needs to be cleared, cleaned, or acknowledged while you are here? Now turn to your angel. Find another agreeable fragment. And with the help of your angel, find the source, find the fragment. Call to your fragment and let the fragment respond and have that response call you to the place to appear with your fragment instantly and immediately. Allow this place to reveal itself to you How does it feel? What do you need to do to reclaim your shard and invite it to nestle back into your being where it belongs. Invite your soul back into yourself. Is there anything you need to do to cleanse and clear and release your connection to this place so that only mutual love can exist here in this relationship or a total release? now invite your angel to fill your being with divine love and magnetic joy. Invite your angel to bring the best, highest frequency, most delightful divine resonance into your being and fill yourself as though you are a hollow shell and divine love, pure joy wishes to nestle within you as though you have become the magic box that is filled only with love and wonderment. Invite your angel to wrap their love around you kiss you upon your forehead, 
your eyes. It is time for your angel to return to their frequency, but first your angel hands to you one little gift placed in your hands, a gift of heart-to-heart -heart love from one who knows you as well as you in your best of moments know yourself and one who values, appreciates you on the highest state of being. Receive your gift. And as your angel returns back to its place of guardianship, gives you one more kiss upon the forehead, strokes your hair, and places a white energy feather in your hand. And you place this feather in your heart so that your heart-to-heart -heart connection with your angel may reoccur whenever you wish and you may constantly be purely connected. And as you feel yourself returning into yourself, you might want to raise your hands up to your eyes and allow the energy of all of this beautiful divine experience to give yourself a little energetic healing. As you open your eyes to help you acclimate to the return to this world and this place. Give yourself a moment to let all your energy and your soul bits to shift in. Welcome back.